for tuning in to this episode of What's in the Box. Uh, today we are going to be looking at um, another line of products we carry. So at the Battlegrounds Games, not only do we do uh, Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, comics, video games, we also are one of Sideshow's exclusive retailers here in uh, Georgia. Today we are going to be looking at the Prom 1 Studio Megatron. Now this guy is a one-fourth scale, so if you're unfamiliar with what that kind of terminology means, that means uh, this statue is one-fourth the scale of what Megatron would be in real life. Um, so you can imagine Megatron's this huge robot. This is a scaled-down version of that. Um, to kind of give you some size comparison here on just the box, you know, I had to get down here on the floor with it just so you could get an idea. I mean, we're talking, you know, neck down to the floor. This is how big this box is. So if you're ordering this guy, don't be surprised when a... A massive box is on your doorstep when UPS, FedEx, the post office drops it off. Uh, this guy is massive. Um, the box art, as you can see, is very, very similar to what we've seen with uh, the, our Transformers Generations toys right now that are out, the Combiner Wars and uh, so forth that have came out here recently. Uh, we've got this, you know, our Transformers logo that we're used to right now, our Prom 1 Studio logo down at the bottom, our uh, PMTF02 Megatron, so kind of got some... Uh, of the masterpiece type numbering there. Um, and then you can see him in all his glory, Megatron. So uh, I'm just gonna, I've already got him taken out. Uh, I just wanted to kind of get down here and show you the box real quick. So we'll just go over each side of the box and let you get an idea of what you can expect if you're in the market for this one. Uh, he retails for about $1,000. Um, he is massive. So, you know, the sticker shock price um, it gets people, but, but this piece is, is well deserved. It is a beauty. All right, so here on the side, we've got some Megatron art here, or not art, really. This is what he looks like. So uh, he, he, they did a great job. Prime One knocks it out on every piece they do, but this one, if you're a Transformer fan like me, uh, perfect. All right, so here we've kind of got a head sketch, uh, kind of blueprint looking. Um, all of our Japanese, whatever this says, um, our Hasbro logo, Transformers logo, another Prime One. Uh, here it's just our uh, Decepticon logo, Prom 1 Studios, and then here on the top we've got our Prom 1 logo, and we can see that this is number 114 out of 1,000. So you get the sticker there as well that, you know, is on the brown box when it comes in. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right in to the, uh, uh, an unboxing video, so uh, stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, we are back, and here we, he is... The Prom One Studios Megatron. This thing is a beast. I really, really like all the detail in this piece. They nailed it. Um, if you are a fan of the Decepticons or just Transformers in general, this is the piece for you. Um, Prom One nailed it. Uh, they do a lot of uh, Transformer stuff. I'm a little bit more partial to the G1 stuff myself, so this is the first piece in that line. Um, you know, I, I love the movies, but um, those are not the droids I am looking for. This is Megatron. He has a really dark gray finish that the camera's not picking up. It's showing him much lighter than probably what you're going to see in person. As you can see here, the, just the detail is incredible. The size is incredible. Um, we got a couple more uh, details we're going to go over about this guy. Some special features that Prom 1 included. Um, really starting to get very common to have uh, lighted statues and sounds and things to really bring these guys to life. So not only their size, but also... I guess the things they do now. Statues have came such a long way. The detail is incredible. Uh, this piece here will scale with your other one-fourth scale statues. Uh, Megatron himself is of course not one not one-fourth scale. I believe Megatron comes in at like 31 feet. So uh, you would essentially have a six-foot statue if you wanted a true one-fourth scale Megatron. So we're going to go ahead and 
go over the light up features on this beast. Uh, Megatron's eyes do light up. There's a switch here in the back, which we will just press. And if we can find it there, there we go. Um, there have been some issues with his head not... With the, with the lights flickering. Um, this piece, however, came in working good. So no issues there. And then there is also a light up feature on the hand cannon. So there's a switch right here in the back. We will just turn it on and boom, we are crushing the Autobots. All right, now I'm gonna zoom out and let you see him sized up with another statue. This is the one fourth scale Star Wars Boba Fett. He will just be right beside. You can see how he fits in perfectly right beside him. Um, certainly not any, any reason why you, you couldn't put him beside any other one fourth scale statue. It's not going to be, um, what, what I've seen a time before where you have one fifth scale and one fourth scale and they just don't look right beside each other. Megatron is going to fit right in. So there you have it. Um, the one fourth, I guess one fourth scale, um, at least in scale with other statues, Prime One Studios, Megatron. He is a beauty. There's only a thousand of these in existence. And uh, with this one being here, there's only 999. Because this one's not going anywhere. So he is a beauty. Um, if you like this video, we have a lot more of these coming up. So we will be reviewing all of Sideshow's products that release. Uh, you can That'll probably be fairly weekly. So if you're into statue collecting, uh, the Battlegrounds Games has you covered. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, comment below. Air all those things help us grow as a company and continue to bring the footage that we want to bring to you and the content that you like to watch. So again, Prime One Studios, Megatron, in all his glory. All hell Megatron, this is Michael, and thank you for watching.